Alright, so today we're going to be learning how to do a faux hawk with a mid skin fade. What you're going to want to do first is get your skin or your this bald line out of the way. Shit. Take it to whatever desired length. This is a mid skin, so I'm going to go midway up the head to like the temple peak point. So with this specific client, he doesn't like the, the bald line in the back of his head to go up too high. So it's kind of a drop fade. Uh, you just have to adjust it to whatever your client wants. And yeah, so that's the reason why it drops down a little bit. Now you're going to want to get any shaver, any foil attachment or anything. I'm using this wall 5 star shaver and get underneath the line you just made. Make it completely skin or bald. Another tip is not to go all the way up to the line that you made. Leave a little bit of space so you can blend that skin line into the hairline. Now to get that line out of the way that I was talking about, you get your wall detailer or whatever other trimmer you're using and just work out that line until it's faint or not noticeable at all. So here's where you introduce your clippers to the cut. Uh, whatever clipper you use, whether it be a wall, an andis, an oster, you're gonna get it, open the lever all the way up so it's at a half or whatever clipper opens up. So I'm using the wall legend. They open a little bit more than a half and uh, you're just gonna work at that. Make your first guideline about a half an inch to an inch from the bald line. Alright, now that you have that done with, you're going to want to start opening and closing the lever on your clipper, um, depending on where you see a dark spot, a light spot, try to get that line, the bottom line out, and then don't worry about the middle line, just don't push it up, we'll be getting that next. back with your trimmer choice and get rid of the line all the way. This is a Chucky Beat production. the number one guard open the lever all the way so it's a one and a half and 
bring up the next guideline to wherever you want. Try not to go too deep on the head. Try to like scoop, do like a scooping motion at the very end, just so the line's easy to blend out later on. But just get that one and a half as high as the client wanted. Now, just like we did with the other line, you're gonna want open and close the lever with the one guard attached to get that guideline out as much as possible. Don't worry, there's still gonna be a line in between. We'll get that out with the 116 guard. Now you're going to want to get your 1 16th guard and open and close the lever until there's no more visible lines in his mid skin fade. Now what you're going to want to do is comb the hair up, show the client, and once he says how much he wants cut off, cut that length off. With this cut, since it is a faux hawk, you're going to want to cut the sides at angles. Try to get all even to what you wanted. A little shorter in the back, so just angle it back a little as well. And then at the end of it all, you're going to want to cross check it. to cross check it you're just gonna comb the hair see any little hairs that stick out or like usually it'll form a triangle if it does just get those hairs down make it all even all right so now comes the clipper over comb portion of the haircut it's a really important technique that I find very useful I'll be going to further explanation in another video but what you're going to want to do is open your clipper all the way, no attachment, no guards. And then you're going to want to put the clipper comb against the head, but angle it slightly so it blends into the top. And then whatever hair sticks out, just cut it. push the line back nothing worse than having a push back line just keep it as natural as possible if people have weird foreheads weird shaped hairlines don't worry about it just make it natural and don't go an inch in two inches in Back from your initial guideline, just get the hair sticking out, 
and pull the skin so you don't nick people. Do your best not to get any little cuts and just keep it natural like always. And just get those corners as sharp as possible as well. So for styling the faux hawk, get whatever part you're going to be using, warm it up with your hands and disperse it evenly, either put it to the side or straight forward. Alright guys, so that was the end of the cut. Thank you for watching. This is my second video. More to come. Please subscribe and follow me on Instagram.